Hey everybody, DSR here. Um, this is my first actual model unboxing. Uh, my first video, obviously, was just um, the unboxing of the package I got from Gundam Store and More. Um, I was planning on doing the Seraphim Gundam first, uh, the unboxing of that, but I couldn't wait to get my camera um, back from when it was being used and I went ahead and built it so there won't be uh, an unboxing for that but there will be a review uh, just a quick look at him uh, here we go uh, he's pretty small and this is full size compared to the box of Union Flag which is basically the same size box um, anyway but, uh, I'll tell you more about that in the review but uh this is Graham's Union Flag Custom. Um, what I didn't mention in my first video, the difference between this and uh, the Overflag is the color scheme. The Overflag's a little bit lighter of a color scheme. And um, this right here, the beam, uh, the beam gun, or whatever it's called, the rifle. I think it's called a linear rifle. But um, anyway, that's more of like a sword kind of thing. I don't know if it's actually ever used as a sword in season one, but um, it just it looks like one. Um, anyway, onto the box. Uh, in the background here, you can kind of see uh, two of them flying off, kind of into the distance, like he's kind of coming into battle. Um, back here. Um, shows kind of what can be moved around on the model. Um, the back, I'm guessing, flips up and down. I'll cover that when I do my review of it. Um, it shows the change between uh, mobile suit and flight mode. And then uh, just a couple more shots. Everything's in Japanese, so it doesn't really tell you much. And then on the side, high grade, just another picture of it. Actually, that's just a smaller version of that, I'm pretty sure. Um, on the back here, I have the front and rear shot. Uh, pilot information, Graham Acre. Everything's in Japanese, so... You know, obviously, because these come straight from Japan. Uh, warning panel. Uh, I'm guessing it's telling you that there's a lot of small parts and this side is the same as the other side. Uh, nothing on the back. These, uh, the HG models don't really ever have anything on the back. I, I've seen boxes that do, but um, anyway, uh, onto this. Uh, this is my second version of this video. Uh, the first one got cut off because my camera ran out of memory. So the, um, the parts trays are already out of the bags but nothing's out of them yet. Okay, so this is um, the instruction booklet. Regular HG size, at least that I've seen so far. Um, it, it's only four pages like the Seraphim was. Um, I'm guessing other ones will be longer that actually involve a lot more building. But uh, the back here shows how to change to flight mode. Then right here actually shows how to mount it onto a stand. Um, there's something that flips down in the back uh, that allows you to mount it. And then this has the information for the mobile suit and then the pilot information again. Uh, got off to the side. Uh, this I believe was in the first bag. Um, maybe it was the second. You know, I think it's the second because this is the parts tray C. And this is made from all ABS. Everything on this tray is ABS. Um, ABS burns, unlike some plastics that would melt under a small flame. Um, I'll put a link in the description to Too Old for Toys video. Um, he did a tutorial on how to melt um, parts of your trays to uh, repl make replacement parts. But ABS. You can't do it with it because it's out on fire. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. My bad. <laughs> anyway, um, 
here, oops, upside down, uh, we have the wing parts are the most obvious, and then the legs, both are all four half the legs, and then two of the main parts of the rifle. Um, not a whole lot else. These parts right here protrude quite a bit. Um, let's see. And we have this tray, which has um, a good sized orange piece there um, for the face mask. And then parts for what I'm guessing is a vibroblade, because it's not a beam saber. It's a um, Iber blade sounds like I'm ripping off Star Wars, though. I'm not sure what that's actually called. I'll look it up. Um, the monster-sized hands. These are way, way big. Um, but that's mostly it. Uh, the sticker sheet. These are white. These haven't been taken off. It looks... I, th I thought it... At first, it looked like they were taken off. But they're just white. Because it's mostly white detailing on this. But, um, anyway, this will be the next model I'm building, so expect to see a review of it, and a review of this guy as well. I will be doing both of these pretty soon. So, um, I'm DSR, and I'll catch you next time.